Hi, Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I had a viewer send a question and I want to give an answer. And the question is, in essence, why God doesn't make changes? Why does he tolerate misery on earth? Why does he tolerate injustices between people on earth? So anyway, let me go on and answer that real quickly because that's a common complaint with a lot of us. I've had those questions before I gave my heart to the Lord as well. So let me answer this. The biggest problem on this planet is mankind, the human race, born in sin and shapen in iniquity. Because sin is in our nature, people cause harm and chaos. God tolerates what he hates because he gave us free will, freedom of choice. We are free to do good and love others and are just as free to do wrong, harming and hating others. That's why Jesus was sent to die to grant us pardon. When we choose to unite with him as our Lord and Savior, we are given the gift of his Holy Spirit, which changes our nature into a more loving one. This gift helps us and empowers us to live right and do right by others. Plus, he loads us with benefits. That is his intervention. But many reject him. So the beat goes on and people get worse and worse. Now let me add a story to this. When I was doing my thing, it's your thing, and I was doing it without God in my life, I remember how I hated the thought of taking care of my father whenever he got too weak to do so for himself. Ooh, well, after I accepted Jesus into my heart years later, and he, my father was weak, I found myself begging God to let me take care of him. I wanted to do the very thing I did not want to do before. Now, what made the change of mind? The Holy Spirit in me with a newfound love? That is what brought about that change. This world would be a beautiful place if we all would accept Jesus, love goodness, hunger for holiness, live in truth, and would rule this world in total peace. Wouldn't that be nice? We would have heaven right here on earth, wouldn't we? At least somewhat of it. But anyway, okay, I just thought that that would give you food for thought for those of you who have all kind of questions and you wonder, well, why should I give my heart to the Lord? Why should I accept him? You know, nothing's going to change. This world is ugly. People are ugly and all that. But you know what? It starts with you. That's where it starts. It starts with you. And when people see the change in you, it'll make them want what you have. And one life touches another life which touches another life. And you end up with a domino effect. Unfortunately, evil is so strong in this world, not stronger than God, but unfortunately, because we are born in sin and shaping in iniquity, our flesh is so given to the dark side in all the temptations of the dark side. And that's what appeals to us. That's why God gives us his Holy Spirit, which grants us a new nature. That is what enables us and makes us want to live a holy life and actually enjoy it. All right, consider, please, giving your heart to the Lord. You will find a brand new you as God introduces you to the old you and begins to clean you and wash you and do inner healing in your soul. And you will love every moment of it. You won't love every moment of life, but you will love everything God's doing in you. God bless you.